So referee Paul Alcock of Surrey gets this match underway. Perfect conditions here at Highbury for this uh, Midlands Cup second round, first leg as the wall goes up. Obviously, all the pressure on Arsenal to try and get as many goals as possible here to take them to the second leg at Home Park in a fortnight's time. And Plymouth will recall what happened when they were here last. So the match underway. Andy Thomas could be dispossessed, but Nicky Marker gets a second chance. And that's a pretty good start for Plymouth. Andy Thomas firing in a shot at John Lukic in the first kick of the match, and that's very, very promising for Argyle. Hodges. Doing well there to hold off the challenge. And a free kick given. It was taken by John Brimmerkamp. Brimmerkamp's free kick floated in. And Hodges again, nicely through to Sean McCarthy, but just a little bit too far. Accept that, and in the end, that's good work. With the free kick given against Tony Adams looked like uh, good defence from Adams, but the referee decided that infringement had been committed. The Arsenal don't like that at all, understandably. That was a dreadful ball back to uh, his own keeper, intercepted by McCarthy. So Mark Stewart. Standing over this, along with Nicky Marker. Good position. Stewart tries to bend it. Second chance here for Thomas. And wide it goes. So certainly a very promising start here by Plymouth. in the end it's Rowcastle and good work by Andy Thomas but that was dangerous lovely press down by uh, Paul Merson eventually Rowcastle finding his way through there but Andy Thomas for the rescue and Burroughs will have to make that safe instead he gives away the corner Six minutes gone here. Six minutes gone as the corner comes over. Must be. Yes. And Smith. Arsenal's most prolific goal scorer last season, of course. And a very, very simple goal for Arsenal after just six minutes play. Alan Smith, the scorer, from the cross. It's now Arsenal 1, Plymouth Argonne 0. Rowcastle. Race. Merson. Lovely ball inside. Is it too far? That's brilliantly cut out. In the end, the sliding tackle by Stewart.
Smith again showing just how dangerous he is in that uh, box. And really, Plymouth Argyle had a bit of a let off there. Marwood. Smith was moving in. Stewart with a chance to get Plymouth Argyle into the Arsenal uh, half for the first time since the start of the match. not too far away with that uh, glancing head out. Or just forward. If we press the down by Adams. Switching it, but a bit too far. Well kept in by Marwood. Arsenal forward again. At the edge of the box here, lovely run. And screwed back to Dixon. But now a chance for Plymouth. Hodges breaks. He's got uh, Tynan with him and Nicky uh, Marker as well. Marker to the edge of the box. And that's a pretty weak ball inside to no one in particular. And then cut out by Mark Smith with lots of Arsenal players breaking forward. Some intricate stuff here. Marwood, Rowcastle. And he's got Dixon breaking. Beautiful stuff. Is Smith on the end of it? No, it's not, but uh, he gets it second time. And a shot by Marwood hits the underside of the bar and away. So Plymouth, it must be said, enjoying a little luck here, but that again was wonderful football from the Gunners. Beautifully carved out, and in the end, that shot hitting the underside of the bar and out again. <laughs> 30 minutes gone, the corner, and Wilmot catches it the second time. Winterburn this time. Plymouth really pegged back now. Rocastle. Stewart in the end, relieved to get that back to his keeper. McCarthy through to Tynan. Tynan must score here, surely. Left footed. And knocked away in the end by Arsenal, who must be very relieved about that. Well, Plymouth broke through. Tynan just couldn't get enough power into that shot. And in the end, Arsenal managed to scramble it away. But encouraging for Plymouth as they break forward again. Thomas's shot rebounded. 
So a golden chance there for Tynan. Stewart and referee Paul Alcock spotting the infringement. Bremerkamp quickly to Tynan in the box, but oh, Leary, what a fine defender he is, very quick to uh, pounce on that. Rogers trying to play the one-two with Stewart from the uh, throw-in, nearly got it back. Well, Plymouth will be a little refreshed by that near chance for Tommy Tynan just a short while ago. Well, that's a good tackle by Richardson, which frees Brian Marwood. He's got Smith. Merson inside to Nicky Thomas, trying to find Richardson. Turn. Well taken by Paul Merson. And in the end, Adrian Burrows happy to uh, knock that one away. Quickly taken to Marwood. To Mickey Thomas, Dixon. And there he's gone on the overlap down this side. Oh, Arsenal being pushed back for the moment by Plymouth. Well played, Nicky Marker. Some header, but no problems for Mark Smith. I think Plymouth will probably be quite relieved that after half an hour's play, there's only the one goal in it, considering the way Arsenal went at them in the first uh, quarter of an hour. But uh, Plymouth have kept their heads. Quite a few Plymouth Argyle fans have made the trip here tonight. They always enjoy the game in London, of course. They don't get a chance that often to uh, come to the capital. Tynan on to McCarthy. Nice work by Sean McCarthy. But that's to no avail as uh, the Gunners push forward again. Smith, Richardson, and in the end back to Tony Adams. Kenny Brown with a header out. And this is dangerous. Nicky Thomas. And the ball nearly uh, making its way through there. So a corner with uh, nearly 30 minutes gone here. 1-0 to the Gunners at the moment. Going to be another in-swinger from Brian Marwood. In it comes. S Smith had a go, so did Thomas. Tony Adams effort over the bar as well. And so another corner. So another in-swinging corner from 
forward. <laughs> and yet another, that's the third corner in a row. Certainly Plymouth looking very vulnerable from this situation. So third corner in a row for Marwood. The heads are in there. And in the end, I think that's Rowcastle who was inches wide. Well, Arsenal really enjoying these uh, corner situations. And David Rowcastle perhaps knows he should have scored in that situation. Let's have a look at that again. Yes, Rowcastle just inches wide. Richardson for Arsenal again, Marwood. Oh, it's a bit of a ball inside. A real hammer of a shot from Winterburn, and that was deflected safely back to Wilmot. getting more and more into this match as he did of course in that uh, FA Cup tie two years ago Winterburn lovely skills the full back Marwood's cross Smith there and Smith with uh, three players on him I think Argyle know he's the main danger man in that box free kick to be taken quite so quickly still at it no <laughs> third time lucky for Arsenal and to burn and the free kick won by Mickey Thomas in very quickly Merson doing well under pressure and Paul Merson nearly working his way past three or four defenders there Arsenal applying the pressure once more Twenty-four minutes gone here as Marwood gets into a shooting position but I think he's taking it a bit too far leaves it for Lee Dixon and that one knocked down by uh, Kevin Hodges quite successfully. Space here for Tynan. He's got uh, Mark Stewart free on this left-hand side. Early ball. Good one, too. And in the end, I think it was O'Leary who was, had to knock that one away. With Nicky Marker bearing down, that was a good ball by Mark Stewart. Stewart again. And yes, he does get the corner. mean something sign from Brimacombe yes quickly taken by Stewart set piece worked hard and uh, 
by the Argyle side, not paying off on that occasion. Hodges, and the offside against Andy Thomas. says the referee, Masson making the best of it, that's a good tackle by Kenny Brown but Richardson not able to uh, exploit that situation. to Kevin Hodges. Lovely first time ball by Kenny Brown. And Marker in the end having to uh, concede the goal kick to Lee Dixon. Good defence there by the Gunners fullback. kick and the offside again Richardson over to Dixon oh didn't he do well there and the one two from Paul Merson Dixon trying to knock in an early uh, ball he looks a very, very good player. Rowcastle. Rowcastle trying to find space in the end. Nice ball to Merson, but Merson not able to get the shot in properly.
Smith turned well there. To Roy Castle. Still Alan Smith. Kevin Paul Merson. Trapped by Marwood. An even better tackle from uh, Adrian Burrows. Certainly Arsenal won't be happy with just one goal to take back to home park. Because they know that Plymouth really should have had an equaliser. Smith, left-footed free kick, and in the end, <laughs> nearly running through for uh, Kevin Hodges after that uh, dummy attempt by Sean McCarthy. Okay. Plymouth playing with a little more purpose at the moment. Oh, can Hodges retrieve this? It's a long run. Good ball in the middle. McCarthy in on it as well. Marker. The offside again played by Arsenal quite successfully. Is the end of the first 45 minutes. Uh, Plymouth won't be too disheartened at that. It's Arsenal 1, Argyle 0 at half time. So the start of this uh, second half here at Highbury. Arsenal, a goal in the lead, scored after just six minutes play by Alan Smith. And they had a couple of shots hitting the woodwork as well. But uh, Plymouth kept their heads. They had a chance to, and they won't be too disappointed with the scoreline at this stage. to know what uh, Ken Brown has said to his players at half-time. I know he's particularly disappointed when Tynan missed that uh, golden chance. 
Well, and Tynan again, very nearly finding uh, Sean McCarthy with that glancing header. Well, just as in the first half, Plymouth getting the first good attack. Not too far away there. Brimacombe. Over to McCarthy, can he turn? Did well, McCarthy left footed. And Hodges went down. No penalty, and in fact, nobody appealed. So the chance here for Winderburn to get Marwood away. Marwood having switched flanks. A lovely ball to Winderburn from Alan Smith. Low across the goal mouth, always a dangerous ball. But it's McCarthy here for Argyle. Remember Thomas is up with him. And he didn't really uh, use that to the best possibility. Marwood, jinking run, first time shot. Running off the tackle in the return from Alan Smith. And in the end, tripped up on the edge of the box. Mark Smith, the culprit. Well, Roadcastle was certainly through there. And right on the edge of the box here, the free kick. Be curled in by Richardson in the end. Uh, Kenny Brown nodded away. And head tennis. run by uh, Marwood Leary too far for Alan Smith
Newcastle juggling again. Uh, I think that was more a case of collision than uh, intentional foul, but the referee decides foul it is. This ball to be curled in again by Brian Marwood. Smith being closely watched, and Merson as well. well. In the end, the hook shot by uh, Kevin Richardson, not powerful enough to worry Reese Wilmot. Thomas really finding his way through there, but O'Leary using all his skill to steer the gunners to safety. Well, Brown will have to get that. Marwood! And did Reese Wilmot get a touch? Obviously, he didn't. Well, the ball falling to Marwood there after Kenny Brown had missed it. And that should have been 2-0. We can see that again. Brown completely missing the ball there. Look at uh, Marwood in a good situation, shoots early. And I thought Wilmot did get a touch to that. Yes, he did. and really not had the service tonight or the uh, opportunity to uh, add to his goal tally this season. again to Thomas and Adams had to knock that away calling on his players to respond it's a neat move that from the set piece by Plymouth Andy Thomas certainly had quite an influence on uh, Argyle's set pieces this season so the corner again and it's taken very wide to Thomas. Not really in a scoring position, but did well there to knock it through to McCarthy. And Dixon conceding the corner. Good spell here from Argyle. A good time for Plymouth to equalise. Really set up the uh, second leg at home park. If they could get a goal back here. Once again, they've got two men in this uh, corner situation. Obviously a sign by Stewart to the far post. McCarthy, and very nearly worked too. Stewart did well there. Marker. Now Hodges has got plenty of space here. 
He's got uh, Sean McCarthy this side, and McCarthy could jump for that. He does! He gets it! Sean McCarthy, but the goal has been disallowed for offside. And really, Plymouth can't believe that. Well, I'd like to look at that again, because McCarthy came from a deep position to head that in. And the goal is disallowed. The Plymouth fans down there are certainly disappointed. Well, if we look at that again, McCarthy has come from a very deep position. And in fact, he is behind the player as he heads the ball. But it looks like the offside position was, uh, in fact, given away by Andy Thomas in the box and not uh, by Sean McCarthy. Marwood. Dixon. Arsenal playing it all along the line here, trying to penetrate the Plymouth defence. David Rocastle. And yet another player's joined in the attack. Alan Smith stretching it wide. Rocastle. Rocastle trying the dummy. And in the end, he gets the free kick. In a vulnerable position for Plymouth. Richardson, and the deflection, very nearly uh, deceiving Reese Wilmot. Winterburn had the final shot, so Marwood with the corner. Midway through the second half, this is where uh, Arsenal tend to be dangerous. Marwood in, Adams knocks it over, headed away by Mark Smith, and in the end by Andy Thomas. This will be picked up by... Winterburn, it's a good early ball. Must be. Oh! Into the side netting by Brian Marwood. And that really was a let-off for Plymouth because he had the goal at his mercy there. And he knows it. turn here, oh, Arsenal getting themselves into all kinds of trouble and in the end a fine save by Reese Wilmot back on his own home territory the shot from Lee Dixon and Wilmot pulling off a world class save there because Dixon hit that absolutely brilliantly so the corner conceded, Marwood will take it as the Gunners push forward for the second goal here Brian Marwood, Adams was very quickly in there, it's Rocastle on his right foot, tried to take it to the dead ball line, and another corner conceded. Oh, a little conference going on between O'Leary and Alan Smith, the two tall men. In the, in the end, it's uh, O'Leary who knocks it back. And that must be surely Adams screwed it round when really he could have shot straight at goal. And another corner. Marwood. This will go back to Marwood, surely, yes. Onto his left foot. Cleared away by John Brimacombe. Winterburn. Mark away, but only to David, to uh, Michael Thomas. Thomas again, on to Rocastle. Arsenal pressing forward for this second goal. 
It's Perry Groves. Mickey Thomas again. Adams headed away by McCarthy. And Hodges really could have punted that forward and put uh, Plymouth in a strong position because Arsenal were pressed forward. As it is, the Gunners break forward again. Winterburn now. Well, the pressure absolutely relentless. Screws it in, Richardson. And his father is uh, Kevin Hodges, who nods it away. Perry Groves. Been on the substitute for the last 10 minutes. And Lee Dixon, Arsenal's man of the match. Taken down as he makes his way to the box. Quickly taken. And it comes Smith. Again, finds the side netting. Alan Smith looking for his second in the match. And in the ball. In it comes. And Smith look on his left foot. Straight into the side netting. Now it again. Arsenal being driven back at the moment. Interesting situation here as uh, Arsenal press forward for their second goal. They are leaving gaps, of course, and if Plymouth could just capitalise, well, obviously we'd have a marvellous second tie at home park. Winterburn. Marwood shielding the ball well. Charles Dixon on his left foot. That's a lovely ball to Winterburn. Strikes! And that was curling into uh, Reese Wilmot. He had to die for that. Couldn't afford to leave it because uh, Winterburn had put a bit of slice on it. And it was bending in. Away by Brimacombe. Well, seconds ticking away here. Just over five minutes left as uh, the Gunners break forward again. Richardson retrieves it on to Rowcastle. Uh, through to Marwood. Across the place of the goal, nobody there. And Brimakam nods it away. Tynan. Good turn by Tommy Tynan. Well, he's got McCarthy on one side, Hodges on the other, and Andy Thomas in the middle. And that's not a good ball by McCarthy.
Mickey Marker. Tyne and going for the dummy to let Andy Thomas through, but well anticipated by Richardson, who beats the offside trap. Perry Groves. Well, Arsenal must score here. And Groves did the right thing, but that was good work from Mark Smith to knock that away. Great ball by Richardson, which completely split that to Plymouth offside. Groves knocks it in, and that's a good clearance from Smith. Marled with the corner again. Well, Adams was coming in. Found its way to Rowcastle. And the corner won by David Rowcastle. Not had the influence on this match that he had in that 6-1 uh, FA Cup win for the Gunners a couple of years ago, but he's won the corner for the Gunners on this occasion. Adams in! Wilmot gratefully accepts it. Well, only about three or four minutes to go here. And 1-0, I would think, will just about suit Plymouth. Equaliser would be even better, but they'll be happy to take... Uh, they'll be happy to take a single goal back to home park in a fortnight. with nowhere to go and has to knock it back for O'Leary to start another move for Arsenal pushing forward in these last few minutes Throw-in by Perry Groves. Adams. Winterburn will knock this back. Plays a lovely one-two with Richardson. And the referee looking to the lines in for the decision. Throw-in it is. Bit of a stared in. And in the end, so sad. For Plymouth to concede a goal like that. Well, in the end, a deflected goal from, I think it was David Rowcastle who will get the benefit of that. But that comes at the worst possible time for Plymouth. With a couple of minutes to go here. 
Let's have a look at this, the shot from Rowcastle. It's deflected in. In fact, not much of a deflection. I think Reese was Reese Wilmot was deceived by the passage of the ball. Hodges brought down there by Lee Dixon. So Andy Thomas and uh, Kevin Hodges, the two playmakers. Thomas has decided to go into the attack area, and that's rather a waste of the circumstances. His passage was impeded there. Rocasa oh, working his magic. Shadowed by four players. In comes Smith. And Alan Smith. The referee blows his whistle. 2 0 it is to the Gunners. And of course, Plymouth will be fairly disappointed at that late goal conceded even so it does leave the second tie still open Plymouth could always come back from a 2-0 deficit so it's all to play for at home park in a fortnight's time final score here at Highbury in this uh, first leg of the second round Arsenal 2 Plymouth Argyle 0